Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Introducing Henry, Skyrim's most unconventional adventurer. Once Henry was a pretty much bad hunter, so now he just kind of decided to pack his things up and sell all of his inheritance to the people of Riverwood. With that, he could afford his way to Whiterun and start a life of profit. His ultimate goal is to literally own every single property of Skyrim. However, one must recognize Henry's way of living, which is called SCAM. SCAM, obviously, is an acronym for Stay Back Cowards, Craft It, Don't Buy It, Avoid Nefarious Activities, and, and Make No Mayhem. First point stands for Henry is not allowed to directly engage in close-up combat unless necessary, and has to stay at a range from his enemies, and as soon as he can, he has to buy mercenaries to do the job for him. Craft It, Don't Buy It stands for the fact that Henry is not allowed to buy from vendors. Instead, he can only buy ingredients to craft the items for himself and cannot directly sell to them. This means this means he has to use his market stall from the mod your market stall to sell to each single NPC in order to gain profit. Avoid nefarious activities means Henry is not allowed to commit any sort of crime unless of course any quest line forces him to, meaning he is not allowed to steal, pickpocket or murder NPCs or at least friendly NPCs. <laughs> Make no mayhem stands for no exploits whatsoever, meaning no good old resetting the inventories from NPCs by punching them and quick loading using some leftover over chests the developers just kind of left for us or using any form of duplication or the restoration loop. With that said, it is time for Henry to start his adventure by packing up his stuff and finally making his way to Riverwood. Magic at all. In fact, I believe even with negative magica. Yep. 75. And we can't level up. Shit, why did I do this? I don't want to level up. I'm actually starting with negative 45 instead of 75. Fuck you, game. Right, we are somewhere. And we're gonna check where we are yet. We have the apples. Got the bow. Let's mark that. Uh, potion of healing. Yep, we're gonna favor the two. Find a bed to sleep in is our first objective. And we are obviously gonna do that. But first let me... Uh, we're first gonna select everything we can. My storage sack, let's see. More nod meat. Some rings, we can definitely sell those. Woodcutter's eggs, yes please. We're gonna check if we can cook something later, but first, our first objective is to sleep. Let's say an hour. And now we have survival mode enabled. Speech, we got already, but it's at 6. <laughs> and the next one is at 20, so we can't do much there. So all we gotta do is, in order to... Like, secure our way to, I guess, any... Location really, is to just level up. I'm guessing the light armor. Let's check if we can use the cooking pot. And apparently we can make a potion. By combining two potions of feelings, we can make a potion of vigorous healing, but I'm gonna say no to that for now. I'm gonna use the chopping block for a bit. Getting some materials, you know. And let's see, where is the next location we can travel to? This is, there's Helgen. And over there is Riverwood. Obviously we're gonna go there. First. They're yeah, also pretty good. We're just gonna take it with us for the sake of alchemy, you know. Right, Riverwood is that way. And I'm gonna run away from that wolf. Thank you, but no thanks. We're gonna pick up the thief stone so we can actually level up speech, I believe. What? <laughs> 50 times faster? What? Yeah, that's actually... wait. 
Magic up 50 times faster. I'm actually gonna go with stamina. Thank you very much. I'm gonna quit set here. But apparently they're not here, which is interesting. And we make our way to Riverwood. Fantastic. Without any problems whatsoever. We're gonna eat all of this. What? What is it now? I'm gonna go chopping some more wood. Right, in order to become a merchant here, we're gonna need a way to actually sell our stuff. So I'm gonna get some wood and then check what we need to actually craft uh, a stand, I believe. Let's see here. Pocket Empire, but that's not what I want. There we go, Market Storm. We need iron ingots, sand, or whatever. We're not gonna talk about Helgen for now. Um, have you got for sale? Let me see. I need... Okay, we do have iron ingots here. We can buy like two of these. And three of these. Thank you very much. Are we gonna... Watch the... Market style. I think... Nobody's gonna mind if I settle down here. See, there's gotta be a alchemy table over here, and yes, Orgnar. there is. Orgnar. Use the alchemy this lab. This going. And we got po poison of damage magic regeneration. Let me go all the way over here. Let's check the time of day. Okay, it's still a good Someone time to do this. Right, we gotta put stuff in here first. We're gonna say, we're gonna put some. I'm gonna put this earring here, gold necklace, the silver rings, this thing, this thing, this thing, the poison, not this, not that, hmm. the firewood, sure. the garnet, and that's it. I'm gonna wait here now. For people to pass by and maybe hopefully buy some things from us. That's good. Let's actually... Let's go right here. The positioning is the key here after all. Maybe I should move to the invincible plate, actually. Right. I'm looking right in front. I'm kind of hidden, I'm not gonna lie. But maybe they will know what the fuck is happening. Am I hallucinating? What's happening here? Oh, please notice my wares. Oh? Yes, Sven, please. Did you need something? Firewood to buy at 10 septums. Yeah, sure. Let's let's accept that. I'd better get going. Yes, thank you for the, your business. I don't know why you buy bought so much firewood, I'm gonna be honest. Can you serve me a full wheel? Of course. Thank you. And next up... I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'm gonna sleep a solid 10 hours. Oh, Sven. A good customer. No, wait, it's... Embry. I never have heard of this guy. Who the fuck are you? Oh, does she come by? Please come by. I could imagine that some of my things. Oh, Gerda is considering. And of 
course, she's buying firewood. Nice, we're gonna... But two septums? Yeah, okay, why not? I mean, every coin counts, though. Henry's gonna build a, a reputation somehow. And she is coming back. Yes, secret. Please, buy something. She does look interested. Yes, please. Need something? What the fuck do you... Okay, obviously she's gonna buy firewood. Two septums, okay. Whatever. Oh, Alva, are you interested in something? Yeah, you look like you're pretty interested. Are you just gonna buy firewood so I should something that you will leave? Perhaps even the poison? No, okay, nothing here. Go ahead. Alright then. Now maybe, Alva? I mean, it would be kind of fucked up if he took his head twice at us, like, came by twice and then, and just not buy stuff for the second time. It's probably not gonna. Yeah, okay, he, he declined again. Like, you came oh, by like an hour. Like, he, did, he, he came over once. This all of this stuff I had and shook his head and w walked away. Then he came back another time with the very same stuff and he shook his head again and walked back. What the hell, Alpha? What the hell? <laughs> okay, if you. Okay, Alva, if you're gonna shake your head again, I swear to god, I'm gonna side with the fucking storm blocks despite me fucking hating them. Okay, that may be a lie, I'm actually more of an Imperial fan, but what still? Please. Yes, silver necklace? You know what, I'm even gonna do 10% off. 100% off. Yes, thank you. Right, reputation, 25%. Nice. Alva is going back to his business, amazing. Thank you, Elva, for your business. After this, I made a few more sales, head back into the inn, found a very interesting messages, and then made a few more sales before finally deciding to go to the White Run. Property for sale? The Young of Pale has approved the potential sale of Heljach and Farm. A Heljach Farm is a is a plot of land located within the pale near the Lorenius farm. The site is some to an old farm. The farm and its structures are in poor shape and will necessary repairs. Huh. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. We could speak about We could go into the rift at some point. Firewood. Nice. Two septums. Let's go. Let's dismiss this. And let's head towards right run. I should move backwards, it looks terrifying when I do that. Okay, or one handed increases to seven. Nice. Oh, that dog is in the water. How unfortunate for you. Hey, where's my crosshair? I'm just gonna guess. Oh, I see it. Oh, we can harvest some free stuff over here. Actually, do that. Right, and with we'll that, we have discovered why Trump. Who the fuck are you? That's all he says. Jesus Christ, that guy's. Silver ring for two septums? Hell no. And sort of confusion, the reason the price is so low is because I've got a mod installed which kind of changes the prices over time, like depending on a lot of different factors. For once in a wide run, silver things just kind of um, sell for less unless they have a garnet on top of them. Wait, we can just take those. I don't know what, what that does it, but hey, I welcome that. Right, 
after I took all of the stuff in the store which I could take and not steal, uh, I decided to go to Helg and to get even more stuff I could uh, sell on the white run. Of course, there were some things on the trip which were just kind of annoying, such as the wolves which kind of didn't show up at first, but now they did. And um, I had to fight through bandits, because those were just kind of inherited for some reason. That's a mage bandit. And I just fought it after that kill. Let's see here. The body turns to ash as he touches, but some of the other channels survived the attack. Right, the real dragonborn just kind of died. Yeah, we should probably hurry up. Oh shit. Still alive. Okay, there we go. Let's pick this lock. And we've learned sparks, which we can't even use yet. Well, I believe there could be some abandons over here. Doesn't seem they made it this far. Oh no, wait, there's a ba fucking bandit sheep. Alright. When is the last safe? No, please. Please. I hate this game. Did my far just reveal my location? It's actually It's actually kind of hilarious now when I think about it. Now you know this me. What the fuck? You failed. Stagger! Please, stagger! Oh, you failed. You'll be so much easier to run. No, I didn't have special cry crap. I can't believe it. You failed. Over here. No, don't flee. Yes. Bandit of Log is gone. Oh. Sneak attack. 
Die, die, or did she die? Okay, she died. Nice. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yep. And still managed to poison me. Dang it. <laughs> it fucking died of full damage. Using console commands to bypass things for the break again. Huh? What the fuck? Resolve this. Okay. Oh, that well. Why did yeah, since I had the alternative start mod installed, it turns out I can't just go into the cave uh, the way you would in, at the start of the game, vanilla. So I actually had. So overstressed Henry had to go in via the other way into the keep. And um, yeah, I got overstressed, I was over encumbered. But I still managed to find Hedver, give him a healing potion, and then he let me to do his place. Which actually is a little bit quick when I personally can read. Didn't, didn't even have a date first. Anyways, he gave us some stuff, and uh, at least Albert he gave us some stuff, and we could rest in this place. Like I said, it's just a little bit quick for Henry. By a dragon. A dragon? That's ridiculous. You aren't drunk, are you, boy? Husband, let him tell his story. Not much more to tell. This dragon flew over and just wrecked the whole place. Masked Henry's no longer irritational. I don't know if nice. Got out alive. I <laughs> doubt I'd made it out myself if not for my friend here. I need to get back to solitude and let them know what's happened. I thought you could help us out. Food supplies a place to stay. Of course. Any friend of Hadvar's is a friend of mine. I'm glad to help however I can. Right, I'm just gonna take everything. Thank you. I'm asleep for like four hours. <laughs> oh, poor Henry. And... Upgrading stamina. Then we traveled to White Run, the most immersive way possible. I actually highly recommend this mod. Uh, I don't know it's on the top on the top of my head, but I'm gonna put it in the description. Pretty cool mod. Just wait. All right then. Carriage yeah, driver has entered the inn. There we go. Need something? Yes. yes. I need to drive me to somewhere. And that is... Holy shit, this is expensive. Right, run. Very well. My carriage is the... Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. I love that side. <laughs> I really love that side. Right, let's set up that stall while we're here. Um, I'm gonna put this in here. Two of these daggers. I guess we could keep this as regular clothing. I don't really need to go. Right. And now let's open up. Oops. 
after we sold everything we got from Helgen, we made a whopping 6,200 septums, which got the attention of someone, it seems. Like that's it. Got to go. Note, interesting opportunities. Let's see. Greetings, Henry. I have been watching your activities recently. I could not help but notice you earned quite a bit of gold. I don't know what you are planning on doing with your wealth. But I can advise you on the matter. Time is a land of opportunities in these troubled times. Why do you go, go to buy a few stores? This can buy an investment, but will pay it back in the long term. Maybe if you manage to make a name for yourself, I will have a proposal for you, a friend. I don't care. Actually, wait. Do you want to buy something from me? Then I decided to go up to the Yarl to tell him about Helgen, mainly just to meet Farangar. Farangar would then give me the quest to bring the four swords to Arcadia, so I then could uh, take all of the ingredients which he would let me take in order to make some more potions which I could sell later. Come on then, the Yarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen? You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Uh, yeah, you pretty much just destroyed Helgen, and it kind of was heading this way, but uh, I won't worry too much about it. It's just a dragon after all, I mean, could be, could be worse. By Ismir, Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? Against the dragon? Did he just check me out? We should send troops to I mean, you can see one. why. The dragon burns my hold and slaughters Except. my people. And I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Do I sell this or do I keep this? Oh, I keep this. Hell yeah. That's the Archive Lab. I think I found someone who can help you with. Not quite what I wanted. Dragon Project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. Wait. Why you do that? Let me disenchant some things. Oh my god. It just skyrocketed. Holy shit. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. So what do you need me to do? I uh learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh yes, free potions, let's go. Arcadia will okay, that should be enough to for us to afford someone then. Um, Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out this is a price. If not, got something I'm still supposed to deliver. Your sand only. Pale, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Thank you. Um, what can I take now? Right. Let's go through those ingredients. To rest over here uh -huh. for now. Right. We're gonna save here.